What's up everyone this is Bajahat Ahmed Khan and today I'll show you how you can calculate NPV net present value in Excel. So I have an Excel sheet open here. Um, it's a 2013 version. You can use any version that you have on your PC. So here's the following syntax of calculating NPV. So it's uh, like that is equal to NPV brackets rate comma value 1 value 2 value 3 and so on. So values should be in chronological order and uh, rate uh, is any discounted rate that you have and after closing the brackets you can also add a minus initial investment obviously you want to see if uh, your investment is uh, good or bad so if it's positive it's a uh, good investment if it is negative then it's not first of all i will add discounted rate so let's assume that uh, our discounted rate is 10 percent so here's our discounted rate and uh, let's uh, also add initial investment let's assume our initial investment is three thousand dollars so I'll make it bigger for you guys to see clearly. So our discounted rate is 10%. Initial investment is 3000. So what are our cash flows? So let's uh, write it here. So now I'll list down the expected cash flows in chronological order. For example, if you have cash flows of 1000 in year 1, 1500 in year 2 and uh, 2000 in year 3. So I'll list them down here in D2, D3, D4 and D5 and so on. I only have added three of them so let's calculate NPV here so in this cell C8 if you want to display NPV results I will uh, add the formula here so let's add formula first of all whenever you add formula uh, in Excel sheet you'll have to put the is equal to sign and then write NPV starting bracket and uh, rate so what's our rate is it's B1 so i'll write v1 here and then comma and then i'll add cash flows c2 c3 and c4 so i'll select them and it will automatically write c2 to c4 closing brackets and now i will add subtract sign and uh, i'll add b2 because we want to see if our investment is wise or not so here we go our npv is positive let me make it bigger for you to see so our npv result is positive so what does npv mean here it's positive so it means that our investment is profitable and if it is negative then it means uh, investment is not good so let's assume that our initial investment was a little bigger let's put 4000 here so you can see that our npv turned into the red and it's saying seven hundred and forty six dollars in negative so red means negative and uh, so it's not profitable so it's easy to calculate mpv in excel sheet with this formula i hope you guys got the idea if you have any question you can write in the comments below and thank you for watching make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel